Hello everyone, I'm here at Lark Hill Farm which is the home of Mr Graham Lovegrove International Show Jumper um, and we're going to find out how his career in show jumping all started. Thank you for talking to us today Graham. So where did it all begin? God, it's a long story. Um, very young obviously, I was, I can't remember now, six or seven, something like this. I mean my sister had a pony. At the time I had a motorbike and mum and dad I was off motorbiking with Dad at the weekends and Mum was off with Sarah on the pony and Mum and Dad decided obviously it's not good for the family to be split like that so something had to go and it was my bike. <laughs> so um, so they sold my bike and, and I got a pony and that's how it all really started. Wow. Now you were really successful as a youngster weren't you? How did you get into the, the show jumping? I know you were pony club and did quite well. Just tell us a little bit about how you got into that side of things. Uh, well through sister really. You know, she, she made me, I had to really do it. I didn't mm. want to do it. as a, um, Parents couldn't afford two saddles at the time. We had two ponies so Sarah had a saddle and I didn't. So we used to go up riding around the woods me bareback um, but that's sort of started into it like that then I did sort of a uh, few Jim Carner and stuff like that managed to get a saddle by then <laughs> and then started doing pony jumping 12 twos 13 twos uh, up into 14 twos did European championships in 14 twos ponies and that and that that's a good grounding actually the pony yeah. the pony scene rode up to about sort of 22 I think 20 yeah well 22 I was and then I was very ill then and I stopped riding really for mm. being ill so you had quite a time out didn't you so you'd got what what level were you at when you actually had that break um I, I only had a couple of grade b horses anyway I didn't nothing special nothing too high a level very normal 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 mm -hmm. you know jumping sort of 110 120 classes maybe an odd 130 but Nothing more than that up to the age of 22. Mm -hmm. So what happened there? Did you? Is that when you went off and got married? Did you have a break? What happened? Uh, basically, through ill health really was the main reason I stopped riding because mm -hmm. I suffer with Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm. um, so it was mainly through to that. I was very ill with that for a time. And then when I recovered from that, I really, the, the horses weren't around anymore and I set up my own plant hire business. All oh, right. So I had lots of diggers and dumpers and, you know, boys with big toys at the time. <laughs> Did that till, I think it was 30 then, when Sister Sarah said to me um, and her husband, uh, said, how would you like to go show jumping again? And I said, well, of course, I'd love to, but we've got to try and do it properly, mm -hmm. you know. And um, and basically they said, okay, we'll give it a go. And I sold everything I had and we, we started with buying a few horses. Fantastic. Now... At that sort of time, does your your illness you got you say you got over it, but you still suffer from it, don't you? Do you have to it's, manage that at all? Yeah, very very much so. Yeah, my diet is. I have to look at what I eat a lot. Mm. Um, it's something. It's never going to go. It's something I'm always going to have. I just have to live with it, manage it, mm -hmm. and try not to get too stressed because mm -hmm. stress brings it on and everything. But I'm I'm okay now. And that's made you quite passionate about nutrition and digestion hence the connection with Bailey's and I know you're really appreciative of their sponsorship yeah, you're quite passionate about it's so like so important you know I know what how food affects me mm -hmm. so it's the same for a horse and and with Bailey's help uh, they've they given me the right diet to feed each horse individually you know it's I couldn't do it without their help mm -hmm. now, it's really important that the horses are individual yes so yes. you've got a young family you've got a lovely wife who I've met today yeah. how involved do they get with this all uh, yeah, Sophie, my wife, she's she's she works on the yard here and she helps out in the mornings uh, whilst the kids are at school. We've got Emma and Vicky now, eight and nine. I've got a pony each, but and, and they have a sad leech as and well. Leech. And Fantastic. a sad leech. Progress, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the kids love it. They're, they're pony mad now. Fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about the horses. Who have you got on your yard at the moment? Uh, my best horse, Pandor. He's a. He's, uh, fantastic horse mm -hmm. him um he won a few grand prix last year again um I did a nation's cup with him last year um he's a really 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 good horse and then i have a string of horses following on behind mm -hmm. tintin a nice eight-year-old for the future i have some older horses um some some ones that were my best horse that are sort of coming to the twilight of their career but they're still going um so i have about seven actually is uh, there's enough now you're quite well known for how much training and what a good trainer you are um, on the ground. So tell us a little bit about the routine that the horses have and how you train on a week to week basis. Uh, yeah, I try to I try to mix it up for the horse because um, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. So I will do um, some grid work twice a week. 
and they go when the weather's really nice they go up around the woods hacking in the woods mm -hmm. road work i do a lot of road work with the horses some jumping dressage you know i, I mix the work up Did a you lot say dressage? no jumping oh, jumping okay, dressage <laughs> but, so your flat work's quite important to very well. very important yeah you have you can't if you can't do it on the flat you can't do it over a fence you know mm -hmm. you've got to start off at the beginning I think everyone that jumps is a bit guilty of neglecting the flat work side of things. Yeah, point it and go. It <laughs> doesn't always work like that. So what are we looking for for 2010? What's, what are we looking out for? So we're just in February. It's freezing cold. Yeah. Hopefully spring will come. Where are we going to see you? I'm off soon to the, to the warmer weather, going down to Port Portugal for four or five weeks. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be home, Italy, France, all over. UK, right. everywhere. So. How many horses are you taking with you? Uh, this trip's going to be five, mm -hmm. um, but then I mix them up as I go through the season, you know. And how do you work that with the family? Do they go with you? Well, it's, more, it's harder now, with, but half term the kids always come. Mm -hmm. um, you can't keep them at home when it's half term. And then and my wife, she flies out as and when she can to certain do the really nice shows. Yeah, and just catch up with you. Yeah. Well, we wish you all the very best for 2010. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we see you on the teams. And here's to 2012. Eh? Yeah. Graham Lovegrove, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.